only dude here. I'm down in my basement. I'm a little late to doing this, but I had a situation with Big Blue where the carburetor was flooding out. I wasn't sure exactly what was going on. I thought maybe something was going on with the mechanical pump because it was pumping out quite a bit of fuel and it was just spewing out of the out of the carburetor and the accelerator and so I I thought maybe I needed to get a fuel regulator. Well, trying to find a fuel regulator, I just it got to be too difficult. So I pulled the carburetor out, which I have it in here. It's an Edelbrock four barrel. And um, I've already tore it apart and I had found that one of the floats inside had has a pinhole leak somewhere. Now I decided not to go ahead and test it because I didn't need to because I can hear the fuel inside of it. So this was this wasn't doing its job. So I got a rebuild kit that had a float in it and I'm in the process right now of putting it all back together and uh, hopefully get this back on the truck tonight so I can get it back up and running to uh, drive tomorrow night because I need to move some stuff around. So like I said, I'm late to the game. I should have been videoing this earlier, but I just been waiting all day for this part to come in so I can get this started and Amazon just was running behind today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump back onto it, finish this thing up, get it uh, screwed back down and, um, and try to get this on the truck and see what happens. So you'll at least get to see that part of it and let's hope and uh, pray that it actually works. Together. It took me a minute. I probably should have followed, uh, done a video of this before, but I was having trouble with uh, this part here because I wasn't sure uh, the, the little piece back here. I wasn't sure where that was supposed to go because it kind of came off. So um, I think we're good. We're good and tight. Um, now I'm just going to go out and put it on the truck and let's see what it does. Okay, well, it is now. 10:30 at night. It's definitely late, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can get this get on there. This uh, uh, line in the back is gonna be the tough part. Right there for a second. It's gonna be kind of dark. But it is what it is. So I gotta get this on top. Oops, if I do it the right way. But also get this to go in there. Kind of 
Choke in. Bottom half. And then there's the top half. Sorry about this late night fix here. Um, but it is what it is. I have to get, I gotta get this running. We are in the process of trying to move and, um, can't uh, I can't get stuff taken out to the storage unit. I gotta get over this side. Wanted to move stuff uh, the last couple days using this, and I wasn't able to because it is flooding. Okay, I can get the fronts of this. Loosening it, not tightening it. What am I doing? Back the other way. I want to make sure these things are tight because if they're not, they leak. And it gets air in there and fuel. I'm sure there's a certain torque spec. I just I go until I feel the it's tight enough. Click, click. <laughs> That's the way I do it. Click, click. All right, I got hand tight in the back. Let's go back over on this side. <clears throat> when I was taking these off, they were loose, loosey goosey. So. <clears throat> That's good. All the Brock. When they designed this, they didn't do a very good job on these bolts. They are snug to the back and you can't get them threaded. Once you get past that spot, you're fine. There it goes. I'm only sliding on this thing. Everything has a torque spec, but I'm just unfortunately I don't have a torque wrench this small. <clears throat> Pretty good. All right, all right, carburetor's back on. Okay, so now. I have to get this accelerator put back together. That's going to be the fun part. Which, by the way, I screwed up. I got to take this bolt back off. I forgot. Shoot. That, uh, this accelerator bracket goes on this bolt. Things you remember after it's too late. There should be, there it is. This needs to go on there like that. Oh my goodness, I keep slamming this thing. I swear. I'm gonna kill myself here. Now, if I remember correctly, so we'll put these vacuums on. I'm sitting here looking at them. Well, I think we are back in business. You just need to put the fuel line on. Let's see. There's the clamp. Oh, I need to tighten down that vacuum line in the back. Yes, hey, there we go. Have us some light. Okay, well I've got it on, so we're zoomed in, and uh, let's see, let's see how it does.
to put back together. I'm going to take it for a test drive. I, um, I pulled that spark plug. I don't know why it's acting like it's misfiring. I don't want to touch the stuff this time of night. But, uh, it's weird. It's weird how it was running. So we're just going to latch her down. And uh, it's not closed all the way, but that's okay. And uh, let's take it for a spin. Well, it's good to have it back up and running again. Got the trampoline in the back of the truck now and getting ready to get rid of that. That was a chore today. I took that down. You see it's gone. The zip line is now gone. The patio is clear. I got somebody that's going to come and uh, is going to um, power wash all this for me and uh, do some work on the, uh, the side of the house. We lost some flashing and so they're going to come and do that. But I got some material for them to use. The big bucket is the same material that's on the deck right now. And, and the two little ones are the white for the rest of it. But I just honestly, with trying to get things done, I don't have time to to do everything so i have to hire out but uh, fortunately we'll make enough money off the house once we sell it to be able to cover that all right well that's going to conclude this video i took it out and drove it around i had to make some adjustments oddly there was a vacuum leak that we found some time ago in the back that now that i've rebuilt this carburetor was actually pulling too much and that's why i was acting kind of weird uh, as soon as I pulled that vacuum line, which actually was just, we just used the vacuum line to the cruise control. That's not even working. As soon as I had pulled that off, boom, it idled right up and started acting right. I think it's running better fuel wise. I think it's running better than it was before. So I'm thinking that carburetor was never tuned right either. Um, so there we go. Well, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are almost at 600. And as soon as we hit the 600 mark on subscribers, I want to do a contest and uh, give away a t-shirt or, or a hat or something of that nature. So uh, make sure you subscribe so that you can be on that list because uh, um, I want to get uh, as many people as I can uh, in there to uh, possibly win something. Also hit the bell icon so you are alerted of new content as I upload it. Well, that's going to be it again. We will catch you on the next one.